Smartwatches are a great way to track your physical activity throughout the day, and in recent years, smartwatch technology has made a lot of progress, so you can now get a smartwatch at an affordable price. The Amazfit Bip U is a sub $100 smartwatch that can track your activity and it's packed with features. There is a lot of value in this budget smartwatch, but is it the best you can get for your money? And once you get it, what should you expect from daily use? The Amazfit Bip U has a square 1.43 inch 320 by 302 resolution TFT LCD screen with 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass 3, and I found the display to be clear, crisp, and a big upgrade over the original. It has a plastic casing and silicone straps. In my experience, the silicone straps did tend to collect dirt, but you can always change them out. Overall, I found the display to be impressive for the price, with improved elements like activity cycles, faster navigation, and smoother performance, with an improved notifications view, and increased responsiveness from the touchscreen. The Bip U is more of a fitness tracker than a smartwatch, so it doesn't support third-party apps, and it can't make phone calls or respond to notifications. But it does have Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity, and that's compatible with both iPhone and Android, along with music controls. I like that it's now waterproof, so it's safe to go swimming with. Another feature I like is the camera shutter, which lets you take your selfies on your smartwatch. On the back, you'll find a BioTracker 2 PPG biological optical sensor, an accelerometer, gyroscope, and a pulse oximeter all of which help you track your fitness levels throughout the day. You also get a decent selection of different watch faces, some of which have customizable options. I was impressed with the activity tracking capabilities of this watch, which gives you more than 60 sports modes, including running, cycling, and yoga, among others. Each sport is organized by the general type of exercise. The sensors on the watch can tell you your heart rate and track your pace. The Bip U has some multitasking capabilities, so while you're tracking your activity, you can also control your music without altering your exercise information. Now, for a fitness tracking smartwatch, I was disappointed that it lacks a built-in GPS, so you do need to have your phone with you in order for it to track your routes, and that might be a deal breaker for some. If you have your heart set on a built-in GPS, the more expensive BIPU Pro does have an onboard GPS, and it's also Amazon and Alexa compatible. The BIPU offers impressively detailed fitness insights, although none of the sensors are actually medical grade, and this watch should not be used as a substitute for medical advice. The latest updated version also has an improved heart rate sensor, as well as menstrual cycle tracking for women. I was excited to see that it features an SpO2 scanner to track blood oxygen levels by utilizing an infrared light, which is something you generally see on more expensive smartwatches. The SpO2 scanner is accompanied by an Oxygen Beats engine to improve blood oxygen reading accuracy. In my experience, minor motion can skew the results, so be sure to stay very still when you're getting your blood oxygen reading. It also comes with the ability to track your sleep breathing quality, where it assigns you a score and it gives you tips on how to improve. I could also track my sleep time, including my sleep stages and stress levels throughout the day. Additionally, you get assigned a personal activity intelligence score based on your levels of activity throughout the day, which functions like Google Fit Heart Points. The updated Zep Companion app also gives you improved performance and upgraded user experience from previous generations. I found that syncing your activity data with the app was quicker than expected. The Zep app allows you to track your maximum, minimum, and average blood oxygen readings over a range of time spans, including the day, week, month, or year. It also provides more detailed information about your overall fitness, such as what times of the day you're most stressed. This watch comes with a 230 milliamp hour lithium ion polymer battery, which takes around two hours to complete a full charge, and it uses a magnetic two pin PGP pin. While the battery life isn't as incredible as the 30 day duration that the original had, I think the claimed nine day battery life is still a significant offering, but of course this is all dependent on how frequently you use the watch and what features you have running and the brightness settings. So is the Bip U worth the buy? Well, it depends on your needs. If you're looking for built-in GPS and voice assistant support, I would recommend upgrading to the Bip U Pro model, which is a little bit more expensive. And if you're looking for better build quality, the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2 might be a better choice. If you're looking for a watch that excels at tracking your fitness at a reasonable price with a lot of features, the Amazfit Bip U gets the job done. However, I personally would recommend the Xiaomi Brand 6, which has a similar price point and it comes with similar features and a better quality, brighter, higher resolution AMO LED display. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. And if you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.